Hello there everyone and thanks for joining me at my bench once again and today I'm going to tie you up uh, something a little different I don't know how many of you uh, have shad in your area and you fished fly fish for them but uh, where I live we have a river that I, f I go to each spring and visit make two or three trips there and uh, this is one of the flies that I tie to, to catch the shad with and uh, there is different variations that I make I just thought I'd show you this one I have this this one here seems to work pretty well for me so I'm going to tie it up for you in the orange and yellow version this time but I also tie it in a lot of different variations I have the uh, blue and white I tie it in and also all chartreuse uh, well any bright color will, will do the trick for shad most times and pink is a very good color I've had a lot of luck on a pink fly so and I thought you might all like to see this one tied up in case you have shad in your area and you do fish fly fish for shad. They're a lot of fun. They're hard fighting fish. Take a lot of runs and jumps. A lot of people call them the poor man salmon. They're just a lot of fun to catch. So I'll get this guy a device here, a fresh hook in, and we'll get started. Now the hook I'm using is a Mustad 3906B nymph hook, and I'm tying it on a size uh, on a size uh, 8 here. And you can also tie it on a 6 and 4, a little bit larger, if you wish. Okay. I'll get him locked in the vise here. Now, it's weighted, at this fly, and uh, I'm using some 0.25 lead wire here for the wire. So we're going to cover most of the shank here, so I'll just wrap that on. And get probably close to 20 wraps all together here. Snap that end off. And I'll just work that around and pull that little extra off okay and I want that to be about in the center of the, the center of the hook there the shank just like so all right and when you fish these I use uh, generally use either a sink tip or full sink line depending on the depth of the water conditions okay so I have some UTC 140 in yellow so we're going to use here for the thread so I'm going to start right in front of the lid build a little dam then I'm just going to jump my thread behind build a little dam then I'm going to make some wraps over top of that lid cross wraps back and forth securing it down well come back behind it snip off my tag in there and uh, just for durability I'm going to take a little bit of zappa gap here and just go over those lead, thread wraps over the lid so that lead doesn't turn on me just like so Okay, and we'll spread that around here a little bit with dubbing needle. All right, so next is the tail, and I simply use some. Uh, I have some UV orange crystal flash here. Or just any any flashy color will work. Any flashy material, actually. You can use flashy blue too if you wish. I just always have used uh, crystal flash on this particular pattern that I tie for shed. All righty, so get probably got five or six strands here and what I do is tie it in right behind the lid here just like so just make sure it's on top of the shank wrap towards the lid tight against it then I'm going to fold it back so that just doubles the amount of strands there we have for our tail and I clip that about the hook gap length maybe a little bit longer you don't want too long of a tail that way you won't get short strikes okay next is our yellow section of the body and I have some medium yellow chenille here we'll simply spread or scrape some of the uh, fibers off there to get the thread core and I'll tie that in right in front of our tail secure that down nice and tight lots of good wraps and we'll move to about three quarters of the way up now if you have a rotary vise just you you can use your rotary function or just wrap it the regular way there so we'll make our first wrap then we'll work up okay until we get about three quarters of the way up there all right so now I'm going to tie that off in the usual manner okay come in snip it off nice and close okay now there's the yellow section the rear half of the body now on the head of the fly I'm going to use some orange chenille do the same I'm going to strip off some of the uh, fibers there to expose the thread core and tie that in just like so here bring it back alrighty 
Okay. Next we're going to wrap that section. And we'll wrap that forward. And we'll tie that off. Just give us a little orange head on the fly. And tie it off good. Snip it nice and close. Alrighty. Now we're going to tie the throat, which is the same as the tail. I'm just going to turn the vise upside down here. Just take the, what I had left from the tail, and we're going to tie that in for the throat. So I'm going to pinch it here. Make a pinch wrap, come up between my fingers. Tie that down there, nice and tight. Snip off the excess. Okay. Looks like my hook moved on me there a minute for a bit, folks. So I couldn't have to adjust it real good. There we go. Turn that back around. Now I want to snip it. I just pull it up and snip it even with the uh, hook point there. Just get a little short throat on it. And there's that part done. Now I'll wrap back on that a little ways here. Now you don't have to do this step, but I do on these flies is add a little hackle collar. You don't need it, but just like that itself would catch the shed for sure. But I just add a little extra touch to it. Just take a yellow saddle hackle here and make two or three wraps in front. So we'll catch that in here. Fold the stem back. Trim that little piece of stem out of there. Alrighty. So now, just go simply going to wrap that. Two or three wraps, bring it down around. Just sweep the fibers back as I wrap. And when I come up around this time, I'll tie it off. Alrighty, a couple wraps there. And yeah, keep good tension on my thread, pull it nice and tight there. Now I'll take my two fingers, sweep everything back. And we're going to build a little head on this fuller. And yeah, just take my fingers and pull that tip off of there. And there we have it. Pretty simple flies to tie these shad flies. And like I was saying, you can. There's an array of different colors that'll work. So now all I got left to do is come in with my whip finisher here, and make four or five turns, and add a little resin on the head of them. Okay, there we go, folks. Let's tighten that down, nice and tight. Snip off the excess thread. All right, so there he is. Another orange and yellow shad fly. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of UV bone dry, or you can just use whatever head cement you use on. If you don't have any resin, just any kind of lacquer will work. Just go around the head of it to protect the thread wraps, keep it together longer. These flies are pretty bulletproof, I find, when it comes to fishing shad. Alrighty. So, yeah, I just got a little bit there in the eye of the hook, so I don't want that in there. So I'm just gonna take this little leftover piece of hackle here, run it through the eye, just to clean that out. There we go, folks. Now I'll hit it with my light, cure it up. Let me take a few seconds here. Alrighty, there we go. All right, so there we have it. There's another size, size eight uh, shad fly, and they're a pretty simple fly to tie. And if you fly fish for shad, and you definitely tie some of these patterns up and give them a whirl. I've had I've caught lots of shad on on these uh, flies over the years, so I thought I'd share it with you. So anyway. Like always, I want to thank you all for watching, and uh, if you haven't seen my videos before, and you'd like to see more, just hit the good old subscribe button there. And if you have any comments, any questions, put them down below. I'll, I'll definitely read them for sure. And until next time, everyone, I want to wish you happy tying out there. I'll see you all again soon, and so long for now, folks.